father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire, and all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? He didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. Well, this mother of dragons and her sellswords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Ponte Renas! Yonkai Hanoncho si bota con costoti da or! Let's go. You're quick, I'll give you that. But you're reckless. If I have to, I will murder my way to Ramsay Snow and cave his bloody head in. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Just try to keep up. Don't you worry about me. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight.
there. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. I'll make sure she knows. It cannot hurt most ladies her age. Enough, Maester. Just remember that she'll want to see gentleness in you too. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice, but this is an important day for all of us. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Roderick? You look... You're really... I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. <laughs> no. Just two limbs and half a face. <laughs> Please. So, here we are. I'm glad to see you up and about. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but... I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I want to know what you're going through. I'm getting better every day. Might be a while before we dance again, though. I'm glad to hear you're recovering. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide and seek in the grove and. You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But, Roderick. I, um. I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said. Some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron. No, he just wants to assure our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... I... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. We can't let him do that to us. I'm not powerless here, Roderick. If I told him I thought this marriage was wise, he'd listen. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were, and I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. You and I can overcome anything. I once thought so too. <sighs> but I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? 
even for you. Let's be practical. When we defeat the White Hills, I'll give your father half of our Ironwood Forest. Uh, that's worth a fortune, Roderick. We'll pay it to secure this alliance. I'll need to discuss it with father, but... Yes, I think this will convince him. Perhaps we'll remain allies after all. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, he... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. Our houses will be joined, in fact. And we will stand proudly beside them. Can I change your mind? You can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. What do you want, Whitehill? What do I want? Ask your mother. She invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. Ryan belongs at that funeral. With his family. Not until I'm certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now I hear you're ordering them around. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. I do not have to obey. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. So, here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was so self-righteous it made me sick. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So... If you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't do Ramsey that! Snow I said... know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roos Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Oh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick... The Ruined. Isn't that clever? <sighs> He's gonna make things difficult for both of us, isn't he? I'm glad you didn't let him humiliate you. You'd put your pride ahead of your family. What's poor Ryan going to think? That we've abandoned him? I couldn't kiss his ring in front of Elena. She would have understood. <laughs> 